Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have got a mystery parcel from I think Fairy Loot. Oh, I know exactly what it is because I've just seen the label. I'm pretty sure I was 99% certain, but now the label's confirmed it because I had a few things that I was expecting from Fairy Loot this month. And I'm pretty sure I was certain because I'd seen a lot of people on Instagram online getting their Crescent City sets. So, I thought I would unbox them. Um, they are all big. Bigger than I was expecting. Because um, I don't really remember the customizations and stuff on them. Um, other than that they were pretty. I was waiting for the paperbacks to release and then they announced this and I thought, why not? Um, so yeah, it's come well packaged. Oh, I'm excited. These are a lot bigger than I was expecting, to be fair. Um, <laughs> I really was not expecting them to be this huge. I do not have the space on my bookshelf. Hmm, you're going to have to figure this out at some point with all the other books that are turning up recently as well. So they are really, really well padded. So much bubble wrap. Okay, we've got one out. And now the other one. Okay. Right. So we've got Crescent City and House. Uh, so it is House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky and Breath. Let's try and get them up the same way. So that is one side. It's got the Crescent City on them. And then on the other side, we've got like the, they're pretty much the same. We've got the Fairy Loot logo and Sarah J Master's signature. And then we've got that bit on the back. And we've got the spines. So they're basically in little boxes, which is pretty cool. Completely forgot that they were doing that. Did they announce that? They might have announced that and I've just forgotten. Um... Or I could have imagined that they've announced that. Let's get them out properly. I'm opening them in the wrong order. I'm pretty sure I'm opening book two. Yes, I am. Because it's got the number two at the top there. I love all of the gold foiling. It's so pretty. I'm a sucker for foiling anyway. I hate when they do these really tight cellophane I'm always really worried. I can never bite into them and use my nails to break them. So I always have to use scissors and I'm always really scared that I'm going to scuff. These are not going to fit in my book bag. Okay, we're in. Finally, we're into both of them. And now I have a huge mess on my floor. I've got to try and get this out. <gasps> I see a book ribbon. Ta -ta. Look at that. Look at that foiling. Oh, and the edges, look at them, so pretty. Every part of this book is just stunning. Okay, what have we got? Oh, we've got artwork. Oh, we've got so much stuff. Oh my gosh. There is so much, so much going on on this book. Look at all of this. This is just stunning. And then we've got inside and the back side so i will be honest i haven't read either of these books like i said i was kind of waiting because i love the throne of glass really unpopular opinion did not like a court of fallen roses by sarah j mass um i thought it was a weaker of the two um held off on getting these for ages because Part of me was like, oh, A Court of Fawn and Roses seems to be like her baby and that she's put more love and attention into it um, and the fans love it more. It's like the book that the fans love. And I'm like, I also am not a fan of books written in the first person. I don't like that I did this and I'm going to do that. And I said this to him. Um, Kind of breaks me out of it. Whereas Throne of Glass wasn't like that. Um, I thought it was 
a better series overall. So I held off on getting this because I was really worried it was going to be similar to Court of Thorns and Roses. And my friends read them and he said, no, it's not. Um, and I'm glad I did because this edition is stunning. These are not going to fit in my book bag though. So I really... I'm going to struggle on how to get them. I read on my lunches at work, so I'm going to struggle on how to get them to work if it's raining. I'll have to figure it out when that situation arises. Um, these are going to keep me going for a while. That's good. So that is House of Earth and Blood. And now for book two, House of Sky and Breath. Um, I believe there's going to be more books in the series, and I really hope Fairy Loot do... these editions to continue on after I've just knocked myself out with the bookcase um look at that that is nice I'm loving this the sprayed edges are they're the same just obviously with blue pages um and let's see the underneath again we've got the character art in gold foiling just loads and loads of foiling which I am loving and then we have got more character art and more character art on the inside um I'm excited to read these it's also got a ribbon bookmark um I love books that come with ribbon bookmarks I don't know why it's just so handy so easy I'm going to tuck that in like that. Oh, I can't wait to read these. These are stunning editions. I think they are beautiful. Um, I was getting so jealous because I could see people getting them on their Instagram yesterday. And I was like, I'm about to finish my book and I haven't even had a dispatch note. Look at them side by side. Those pages. I feel... I don't know. It seems like a shame to keep them. I would say, oh my God, they're so hard to hold together. I would say these covers are nicer than the book boxes that they come in. So like, let me get, so this is the case for this one. I think this is nicer. I get why, because they put the signature on the box, but I don't know. I don't know how everyone feels about it. I've never, I can't say I've ever been a fan of books being inside boxes. Like, so this is this one's box. I mean, they're pretty much the same. They've just got one and two written on them. So I don't know. I've never overly been a fan of these kind of things because I think it sort of takes away the prettiness of all of this once it's once you've read it and it's on the shelf it's like oh you've got to unbox it completely to appreciate all the details um and recently i've been displaying like really nice sprayed edges outwards um and i probably i don't know if i would have done with these because i'm really loving the spines i like the spines on it so oh they're lovely i'm i'm so pleased and they're huge, so it's going to take me, I'd say it was going to take me some time, but having read A Day of Fallen Night within a week, mostly consisting of lunch hours and then one day where I binged the whole thing, um, they're probably not going to take me that long. <laughs> I reckon I'll get book one done quite quickly. And then my Fairy Loot and Illumicrate monthlies will turn up and I will want to try and get them done and out of the way so I can do the refuse. So I'll probably do this, take a break, move straight on. Dunno, depends on how this ends though. So for the blurb, because I have not actually looked too much into this book, I'm sure other people haven't. We've got Bound by Blood, Tempted by Desire, Unleashed by Destiny. Bryce Quinlan used to light up Crescent City, partying all night in the clubs where the strict classes of Angel, Shift the Human and Fae merge into a sea of beautiful bodies. And then a demon murdered her closest friends. Two years later, when the supposed killer is behind bars, but the crimes start up again, the city's leaders command Bryce to help with the investigation. They assign an enslaved fallen angel, Hunt Athelar, 
hope I'm saying that right, to make sure she does. But as Bryce fights to uncover the truth and resist her attraction to the brooding angel who shadows her every step, she finds herself following a trail that could that leads her deep into her own dark past. I know Marcy's Queen of Fae stories, like that's fairly obvious if you've read any of her other stuff, so I am not as surprised that she's gone Fae, and I wouldn't be surprised if Bryce is like Fae herself, or half Fae, or something, um, because that seems to be her thing. Um, but yeah, they're so pretty. Um, is this going to be spoilery? a little bit so I'm not going to read the blurb of this one because if you haven't read the books like me that can be a little bit spoilery I've made that mistake before when I started reading the blurb out of the Silver Servant after having not read the Gilded Wolves um I'm not going to be dumb like that we got Box Cat she lives there now that is her home she has lived in that box ever since getting it at the weekend only surfacing from it for food look at her little face she doesn't care she's in her box um i i can't wait <laughs> hi um i've been looking forward for these for ages i don't have room on my bookshelves i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm looking at them like uh i just maybe i should put shelves like behind above my bed or something um yeah i can't wait to read these i'm excited to give them a go i think the fairy loot editions are stunning I'm super late to the party because I'm pretty sure there's a new one that's about to be published and I'm really behind. Um, so I'm just like a terrible Sarah J Maas fan. But I have them now and they're beautiful. And I now don't have to justify buying two copies of the same book. <clears throat> Six Crimson Cranes. Um, <laughs> they are stunning. I, yeah. I definitely prefer the inner covers to the books though, the boxes. They are pretty, they are great, I think they're amazing. Um, so yeah, I will read these and post a review on my website, which I will link in the description below, um, along with my other social medias. If you like this very short video um, on special editions, or my monthly unboxings that I do, check them out. Um, I do a lot library at Luma Great and Fairy Loot. If you enjoy this, if you're just here for the cat in the box, please, who features quite a lot in my videos because she is a drama queen and loves attention, um, consider dropping a like and a subscribe. Let me know what you think of these editions. Did you get them? Are you gonna get them? Are you waiting for your pre-orders? Um, did you enjoy the books? Um, without spoilers, obviously, because I haven't read them and spoilers are sad times. Um, let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you for the next video. Bye!